Okay, number 25 is also a math question. If A equals B over 5 and 10A equals 14, what is B? Okay, let's take a look at our equations. We are given two equations here. A equals B over 5. The other one is 10A equals 14. All right. Now, we are asked for letter B. Okay, so hinahanap po natin yung letter B. Pero sabi po dito, A equals B over 5. So yung una po natin gagamitin would be the second equation that we have here. So from the second equation, 10A equals 14, pwede po natin kunin yung ating letter A. So again, for us to get letter A, we need to divide both sides by 10. Okay, so that's why we have our equation here, A equals 14 divided by 10. Okay, so 14 divided by 10, that's letter A. And 14 divided by 10 is 1.4. Okay, so meron na po tayong A. The value for A is 1.4. And it says here, A equals B over 5. So from this equation, from the first equation that we have, pwede din natin makuha ang ating B. Okay, so from the first equation, we know that B equals 5A. For us to get the value of B, we need to multiply both sides by 5 since B here is divided by 5. Okay, so you multiply both sides by 5. That gives us the equation B equals 5A. And we now know the value of A as 1.4. So B then would be 5 multiplied by 1.4, which gives us the correct answer as letter D, 7. Okay, so letter D po, ang answer natin for number 25. So D7 is the answer for number 25. Number 29, still in science, the El Nino phenomenon which grabbed control of the world's weather machine is identified by climatologists as A, heavy downpours, tropical storms in some parts of the earth. Letter B, landslides, flash floods, warm air currents. Letter C, lack of rains, drought, and crop failure. Letter D, all of the above. Okay, now we are all very familiar with El Nino phenomenon. Now, let's go to our slide. Now, what are some climactic impacts of warm El Nino events? Marami po siyang impacts. In this part of the, the world po, Latin America, no, it indicates drought. So drought po during that time, El Nino sa Pilipinas, drought. This part of Africa would also have drought. R here indicates high rainfall. Okay, so high rainfall dito, high rainfall dito, high rainfall dito, and dito. And meron ka ding W which indicates warm period. So iba-iba po yung nagiging uh, effect ng El Nino phenomenon all over the world. So we go back to our question. The question here is asking for the control uh, for the effect of El Nino phenomenon in the world's weather machine. Ito po yung pinakahint natin sa ating question. The El Nino phenomenon which grabbed control of the world's weather machine is identified by climatologists as the correct answer here would be all of the above. Okay, not just letter C, but all of the above. Bakit po? Dahil your question is asking for, or it states, the world weather machine. Now, this is very important. This is a very important question. And it's very important for you to note this because there is a variation to this question. Meron po itong variation. Mer meron po itong, po itong um, another Another type of question, a very similar, no? In that question po, sinabi is, the El Nino phenomenon grab control of the Philippines weather. Pag sinabi lamang po na Pilipinas, then your correct answer would be letter C. Okay? The answer for that case would be letter C. So, but in this case po, sinabi world's weather machine. World's weather machine. Sinasabi ko nga po sa let, when you're taking the let, when you're studying for the let, you need to be very wise. You need to be matanglawin. You need to be maging map mapagmatsyag, no? Dahil pag naiba lamang, lamang po yung ibang word sa yung question, may iba din po yung answer mo. Okay? So in this case, since sinabi the world, your answer would be letter D. Pero, pag ito po, pag itong nasa circle dito, ay pinalitan ng Philippines, your answer would just be letter C. Okay? So, make sure that you know what the correct answer will be based on the tips that you have, based on the words that you have in our question.